Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I actually shopped at two stores this week, got to go to a store I haven't been to in a long time, found some really great things. So if you're excited for another grocery haul, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I actually upload a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, super fun, and we'd love to have you. So uh, let me flip you around and let's jump into this week's pretty good sized grocery haul. So the first part of my grocery haul is from Trader Joe's. When Lola went to chemo this week, I ran to Trader Joe's really quickly. They have a lot of fun stuff out for spring and summer. I actually did a reel on Instagram too. So if you follow me on Instagram, you got a little sneak peek at what I picked up from Trader Joe's. So I stopped over in the frozen section because this makes really quick, easy dinners for Troy. Lola's just sucking down her water over there. <laughs> really quick, easy dinners for Troy. Great side dishes. The Noki Gorgonzola Chef's Kiss, amazing, delicious. It is a little bit high calorie, high point, but it's so, so delicious. It's like the perfect mac and cheese, basically. And then Troy loves the ravioli, so I did grab him the ravioli. He also loves the chicken alfredo. No, not. He also loves the fettuccine Alfredo. Again, these are really easy side dishes for him, and he loves the chicken fried rice, so I picked him up another bag of that. I am obsessed with the Juicy Soft Mango. I love these so much, especially when I hike. It's a great pre-workout, post-workout snack. I count these as zero points because it basically has the same macros as fresh mango. I do not count dried fruit if the macros are the same as the fresh fruit. I don't overeat it. I try to stick with the serving. I did get some cheese. I've never seen this before. I don't think it's new. Maybe I just never noticed it, but this is the sliced light cheddar cheese, 80 calories per slice. And then if you know, you know, the light mozzarella from Trader Joe's is my all time favorite. I also love these Cascio de Pepe puffs. They're open. I ate a few of those while I was waiting for Lola. They're so good. They're a Cheeto with a little bit of pepper. They're just amazing. Absolutely delicious. And then I did get some flowers. Look how beautiful these bright orange Gerber daisies are for spring. And I've never seen these. I think these are new. These are the tiniest chocolate chip cookies. I am back on, I'm back in my Ninja Creamy ice cream era. So I got these to do mix-ins and things on Ninja Creamy ice cream. You can put this on protein pudding, yogurt bowls. A serving is a third of a cup for 120 calories. So I thought I would do maybe a quarter cup on top for some crunch and some extra chocolate. I thought that was so fun. And then I also dug into these. I had to try these. These are the Cine Dragon. So basically like a cinnamon bear. These are so good. If you love cinnamon bears, you will love, love, love these. And then this is something else that's new. Actually, my coaching client, Mary Kara. Hey girl. She told me that these are amazing. I turned her on to these last year when they had the ginger ones. And she said the vanilla cookie are so good. You actually get nine cookies for only 120 calories. So I love these. They are the perfect little sweet treat. These are also great to crumble up on ice cream and yogurt bowls. And then I grabbed two birthday cards. It's my friend Melissa's birthday as well as my friend April. My friend April's from boot camp, and I'm actually going to a little birthday party for her tomorrow. And we're supposed to bring wine and a dessert. So I did grab her a card, and then I grabbed her a bottle of wine. I don't drink, so I have no idea what to buy. This is rose, and if I remember right, I think it's kind of sweet. So I picked that up for her. And then to take, I didn't want to have to bake anything. So I picked up two packs of these little mousse cakes. These are so good from Trader Joe's. So good, and the perfect little springy design. I'm going to put them on a fun platter and bring those for the birthday. I also grabbed a pineapple because I need a pineapple for my lunch meal prep. And then I couldn't pass these up. These lemon flower cookies. These are so cute. They're a sandwich cookie with lemon filling. I'm so excited for those. Those are new for spring and summer. And then I also got two packages of baking chips. Again, Ninja Creamy Ice Cream Era. I love mixing in baking chips. So first is the peppermint flavored chips. 80 calories per serving. And then I also got the peanut butter chips. That sounds so good. Again, 80 calories a serving. 
And I actually thought I could even make cookies with these as well, especially the peanut butter chips would be so good in a chocolate chip cookie. And I had to get this little candle trio. How cute is this? There's a raspberry and roses, rhubarb and bamboo, and lemon verbena. These smell so freaking good, and I don't even like the smell of rose, but I love these candles. All three of them for $10. So I thought, you gotta get those for spring. I also got dog treats. These are new, nothing but sweet potato dog treats. So the only ingredient is sweet potatoes. And then my dogs really like these little beef jerky strips. And then these were new as well. These are rawhide free peanut butter flavored retriever sticks. So they're little bones and you know my dogs get a special bone every day. So I thought we could use these as something different for their special extra bone. And then sumo mandarin. So I saw these singly for $2.99 a piece, which that's expensive, but that's the going rate. But this whole bag was $5 and there's four of them. So that makes them like $1.25 a piece. So I grabbed these. I love sumo mandarins. I'm actually going to have one as soon as I'm done filming. And then I love their hand cut butternut squash cubes. I love to roast these in the oven as a side dish and I hate cutting up butternut squash. So if I can buy them pre-cut up, for $3.99, I'm in. I also got the rub. This is the rub seasoning with coffee and garlic. This is the best seasoning for burgers. Hands down the best seasoning, so I picked one more up. And then these are amazing. I actually was telling my boot camp group about these when we took our hike. If you love the Cadbury mini eggs or you love chocolate covered almonds, these are so good. They have this little candy coating and then this really thin layer of chocolate. These are seasonal, so I picked up two. Also, these are delicious in the freezer. You can have an entire serving, 13 pieces for 140 calories. I love those. And then I've heard amazing things about these. Actually, we were talking about these on our hike. These are the soft and juicy mandarin. So I picked up a bag of those as well. So that is everything that I picked up from Trader Joe's. Let's go ahead and jump into Walmart. And here is my grocery haul from Walmart. What you don't see is a case of water, case of Diet Coke, and a eight pack of Gatorade Zero for Troy. Speaking of Troy, he asked for some more Yasso ice cream bars. So I picked him up a box of the chocolate chip cookie dough. These are about a dollar cheaper a box at Walmart. So I went ahead and got him two, and then I got him the mint chocolate chip as well. I did grab a couple more yogurts. I have three or four left, but I didn't want to run out. And they don't actually carry the key lime flavor at Kroger stores of the light and fit and I love this one especially for spring and summer so I actually picked up two two gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week and then I needed some more rice so I grabbed the organic it was only a dollar more than the regular and it just has a lot less pesticides so I do prefer organic rice Lola's been having a lot of chicken and rice and things with her chemotherapy so I wanted to grab some more rice for her and for recipes I got a big, huge bag of Italian style shredded cheese. I actually need this for a couple of recipes and it was more affordable to buy the big bag than the small bag. This has part skin mozzarella, provolone, Parmesan Romano, Fontina, and Asiago cheese. And I did grab a little bit of meat. Definitely the meat deals at Kroger stores are so much better, but I did pick up a pound of 96% ground beef for $6.13. And then this was a pretty good deal. This is organic free range chicken, no antibiotic for $7.53. These are chicken tenders and these can either be for Lola or for us for a dinner recipe. I got Troy some more of his butter. He loves the Country Crock Light butter. I don't eat this. I just have regular Kerrygold butter, but this is what he prefers, so I picked him up another tub. And then I did get myself another thing of Fairlife chocolate milk. I've been making a lot of protein ice cream in my Ninja Creamy. If you saw Wednesday's video, I showed you some new ice cream base that I found with 19 grams of protein. So I'll link that video down below if you missed it. I also grabbed regular Parmesan cheese for a recipe, and then we were completely out of sour cream, so I did a restock of Daisy. Some Manwich for Troy. This is a quick, easy meal that I can make him. So I picked up the huge can. And then he also asked for a refill of ranch dressing. We're just about out. I picked up one more Caesar salad kit because this just makes a really easy lunch or dinner. I throw my real good chicken nuggets or strips in the air fryer and then top the salad with them. It just makes a good protein packed, veggie packed meal. Speaking of veggies, I needed a spaghetti squash for my lunch meal prep. Also a red bell pepper, some green onions, a couple of oranges for my meal prep, and then some frozen peas and corn also for a couple 
of dinner recipes. So that is everything that I picked up for the week from Trader Joe's and Walmart. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. So I'm going to be making spaghetti squash pizza boats. You'll actually see those in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. That's what I picked up the spaghetti squash for and that Italian cheese. I'm also doing a broccoli chicken and rice casserole. This is one of my favorite dinners. And then I did grab that salad kit for a salad night. And then for my meal prep on Monday for breakfast, I'm making a quinoa bowl. So this is going to be a breakfast style bowl. I've been really loving quinoa lately. Such a superfood, such a great healthy option. So I'm going to show you a really good quinoa bowl recipe. And then for lunch, I'm actually making pineapple fried rice. That's why I bought the pineapple from Trader Joe's and the rice at Walmart. And then I'm going to be making orange bars, the perfect warm weather sweet treat. And that's partially why I picked up those couple oranges at Walmart. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for a healthy, successful week. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a grocery haul or any other video. I do upload five days per week. Down in the description box, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget to come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.